G'day, I'm Dave TTC and this is not Dave's Cave. This is my supersized mini house, tiny house as some might call it, uh, and this will be Dave's Cave. More on that shortly, but I'd like to welcome you to my 11 day market challenge. What is my 11 day market challenge? A friend and myself are going to have a store at a market together and that is in about 11 days from now. Well, I've got 11 days of sleep and then the market. I've got 11 days from now to have enough stuff made and finished and packed in the car be able to sell at the market. I need to be able to fill a three metre table or ten foot for those who might go by the imperial measurements. I live currently in this tiny home which I'll just take you for a brief tour. My lounge room. Follow me to the kitchen. Here is the kitchen and this is the rest of my kitchen. Ignore the mess. It is a pigsty at the moment. This is my kids' work area over here when they're with me. At the moment, they're with their mum. So this is their desk over here, computer area, etc. And over here is my pantry. A little more of my kitchen. We have the dishwasher, the fridge, the microwave. Kids' room there, one upstairs. Bathroom in through there and my room is upstairs. But all of this is going to have to become my workshop or Dave's Cave. Because currently we're suffering from the La Nina. La Nina? I think that's what it's called. Effect. We've had an incredibly wet winter. For some people, what has been wet here is not at all wet, but for these parts, it's wet. My backyard, I'm on about a one acre block. My backyard, normally you'd be struggling to dig it with a bobcat. At the moment, you'd be struggling to turn around in it, even with a four wheel drive. It's just mud. Even parts of my gravel driveway has turned to soup. It's a bit wet out there. I've got water has been flowing through my shed out the PA door or the personal access door. The main house that's under renovations has been in that condition for some years. Uh, so I have to get around to that. Uh, so at the moment I can't even work outside so I've got to do something. I've got to work in here. It's cold outside. It's like I don't know less than 11 degrees Celsius, which for those of you who use the other language, yeah, we're talking about 50 degrees and it's less than that. It's cold. I don't want to be working out there. Plus it's wet, grass is wet, everything's wet. Walk outside, my shoes get muddy. So this is going to be my workshop. My kids are going to their mum and I've got two weeks, a bit less than that, 10, 11 days, home alone to convert this into a workshop so I can make stuff that can be sold at a market, timber goods. So if you have some ideas of things I can make, I'd love you to drop it down in the comments below. Uh, one of my little things will be these leg trays. They're quite handy, especially if you've got your own chooks and you don't have the cardboard boxes. Uh, this one's for 12, the other one's for six. And it's good, I can just pull it out the fridge, put it on the bench and my eggs don't roll away and then chuck it back in the fridge again afterwards. One of the other things I might make is one of those stands, you know the ones where it's at about a 45 degree angle, you stick a wine bottle in it and it just holds itself up, it just balances on the table. Probably make some of them. The other one where you stick it over the top of the wine bottle and you have a wine glass in each end. Probably make some of them. I'll make some puzzles, maybe some games. If you've got any other ideas, I'd love to hear them. I like some stuff that is fairly quick and simple to make. 
and easy to finish. Uh, most of this stuff will just be getting some kind of oil finish. But my first challenge is to, one, make some space. So we've got to get rid of the lounges, get rid of the monitors over here, get rid of the extra chairs. And the next one is dust containment. So my 11 day challenge is to build a workshop inside, relatively dust proof it, and then come up with another a number of individual items like my egg trays in bulk so that I can fill the table and sell at the show. Day one which starts first thing in the morning is going to be bring in the tools, no, empty the place, dust proof the place or at least make it dust resistant and start bringing in the tools. I'll try and give you an, an update each day. So here we are, day one of 11. Stay tuned.